Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to go over this urban edit for you um, to show you how you can achieve this look within seriously a few minutes with my actions. <clears throat> um, so this is where we are going to end and here's where we're going to start. So the finished product and before. So the first thing I'm going to do is run the Storyville image base. And just like that, <clears throat> such a huge difference already. I don't think I have to do much tweaking on this one, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I got some allergies going on. But I just want to make sure the darkened edges fall around her, not on her, which they are. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And I don't want the whole scene brightened up, just her. So I'm going to select the layers box on the, or the mask rather, on the brighten up. And I'm going to invert that. And I'm going to take a soft white brush at 100% opacity and paint the light on my subject, which is my daughter, who was actually being a good model that day. I didn't have to bribe her, which is not normal. I might turn that down just a little bit. And that looks good. So this is the before image base. And the after. So from here I'm going to run my next action, my newest action, which I just love, called Urban Vibes. It gives you the tones that you want with seriously a click of a button. So I'm going to first turn this off so you can see what the All About This Base does. It takes away some of the yellows and makes it a little bit more moody. I have it cranked up so make sure you adjust it to how you want it, what's most appealing to your eye. So I'm going to leave it probably about 31%. And now I'm going to add on the tones. So I have it set to where Urban 4 is selected. You do not have to choose this color. You can turn it off and play around with all the different tones that you want. There's, I think, 10 options or so. Yeah, 10 options. Um, so for this one in particular, I am going to leave on the Urban 4, because I like that look, and turn that one off because I don't want that. But I do not want it on her, so I'm going to mask it off of her. Soft black brush, 100% opacity, and I'm just going to paint that right off of her. And if you're doing this for a client or printing, zoom in guys, I'm not being too careful. You don't want to have blue on her skin, and you don't want to paint the blue off of her surrounding areas. It'll look really weird, but for tutorial purposes, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Okay, so that looks nice. I could leave it there, or I could add another tone to it. So for this case, I want to use Urban 8 in combination with it. It's a little strong there, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Um, and I will show you a secret on how to keep the same mask uh, without having to go over the skin again. You're going to want to select um, the mask selection that you already did, and you're going to hit the Alt button and hold it down and drag it to the color tone that you would like. In this case, I'm using Urban 8 again, and it's going to ask you if you want to replace the layer mask, and of course you do. So now, as you can see, I added the tone, but not on her skin. And I think that that looks pretty nice. So that's the before the tones and after. And the last thing I'm going to do is grab one of my sun overlays. I'm going to use Storyville 1, and I have that selected already. So I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to move it to the top here and hit screen mode. That looks pretty good right there. Hit OK. Go to filter and add Gaussian blur at about 40%. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to mask it off of her face. I'll leave a little bit on her hair. And then I want that sun brightened up a little bit, so I'm going to go to the Hue and Saturation Adjustment and hit the down arrow so it's only going to affect the sun layer. And I'm going to turn up the saturation. 
and that looks pretty good to me. So I might come down and go back into the image base and just brighten her up a little bit more. So I want to increase the opacity here just a teeny bit. And that looks pretty good to me. So guys, seriously, within five minutes, we went from here to here. So easy, so fun. Thanks for watching. You can find these actions in light overlay at storyvillephotography.com. Have a great day, guys. Bye.